Now this one is my pride and joy, and the colors on this camera are awful. What is happening? It looks orange. Anyway, the show must go on. This is the Spyderco, Spyderco Endura 4 in stainless steel. Beautiful knife, especially coming out of the box. Nice, you know, satin finish on the hilt, satin finish on the blade. Um, beautiful, beautiful knife. This is the combination edge. Uh, kind of regret getting the combination edge because I just don't feel like sharpening serrations. I don't feel like I need serrations. Um, but I picked this up in a store where there's kind of less selection anyway. Um, so, but I saw it and it was just a beast of a knife. And look at that. Look at it closed. Tell me if you came across that, you wouldn't pick it up immediately. Obviously without the lanyard, but it's still beautiful. Um, it's just a tank of a knife. I have put this thing through the ringer. I mean, I just... There's nothing I can throw at this this knife that it can't take. And I, and I paid about $85 for it. Um, so, you know, no. No, I paid more for it. No, I paid about $92 for it. Anyway, I got a pretty good deal on it because they're usually about 120 something like that, on par with the Benchmade Mini Grip, which I also paid um, a pretty bargain price for. Um, but I'll talk about that in its own video. Um, just an absolute tank of a knife. Love the thing. VG10. Um, it sharpens real nice. Uh, I don't know about the serrations. Not even going to try it, probably. What I'll probably end up doing is when they fade out, I'll just make it a plain edge knife. I would have bought the plain edge uh, if they had it, but they, alas, they did not. Um, it's just, and, and the clip, it's a little bit softer, but honestly, I don't hate it. I, th I, I kind of like it, actually. Um, it's never come out of my pocket on accident, uh, as much as I carried this. I carried this knife, just this knife, uh, in my pocket anyway, as my pocket knife. Um, I did have an, I, I have a neck knife that I would carry with it, um, but in my pocket, this was a knife that I carried for literally three months straight, and I know in the knife community, that's kind of, it's not a no-no, but it's just a thing that guys usually don't do, they like to alternate a little bit, they like to carry, you know, your Griptilian, and then your Endura 4, although they're not really interchangeable, this, these knives are two totally different sizes, um, but, you know, I guess depending on the task, they like to interchange their knives a little bit. I didn't. I like to just carry this wherever I was going. This was my pride and joy, especially when I didn't... This was my most high-end knife. It still is, you know, in my, um, you know, higher-end knife collection. Um, but, you know, it's just a great knife. There's no... I can't... I, I just haven't found a reason to stop using it, even though I've bought you know, knives that are supposedly better, it's just, it's a solid piece of metal. It's a solid piece, you can't even take it apart on purpose. That's how solid this thing is. And that's, okay, that's a drawback. I would like to take this apart and clean it, but it's still a great knife. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade this thing. You know what? I can confidently say, I paused for a moment, but I can confidently say that I don't think I would trade this knife for something in its price range. I There's nothing, you can't give me my money back for this knife. I This is just a phenomenal, I can't say enough good about it. Um, the serrations too came super sharp out of the box. Uh, you know, they were still pretty sharp well into my use. This is not a factory edge, I will warn you. Um, the tip, I'm just bad at sharpening, as I've said in multiple videos, or, uh, at least another, one other video. Um, I'm bad at sharpening, there's even scratch marks on this blade from when I was sharpening it, and that made me almost shed a couple of man tears. Um, but I attempted to sharpen this with a whetstone. Wasn't a good idea, because I'm terrible at that, and I should just stick with the cheaper knives for that. Um, but it's VG10, it's forgiving. Um. I, I just, you know, I tied a lanyard to it, and, you know, it's kind of been my thing. I'll just sit there and play with it, you know. Don't play with knives. Don't play with knives, kids. That's a bad idea. You will cut yourself. I have cut myself so many times. I have, some, when it's cold outside, you can really see the scars going on. I've cut myself so many times. You probably can't see it with the, my low-end camera, but um, I really just cannot sing this knife's 
uh, praises enough. Um, some scratches on the hilt, but that's to be expected with stainless steel. Um, I mean, it's a solid piece of stainless. So if you drop it, it's hitting the ground with all of that force into that metal, and it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a soft metal for the hilt. But if you're doing like some chopping or something, you know that you don't want the shock from the blade going into your hand. That I mean, that's preferred. Uh, I mean, it's not a machete, but you get what I'm saying. Um, the clip, you can put it right there, right there, right there, right there. You know, op you got options. It's a uh, kind of a it's a back lock. It's in the middle. All right, there's a name for that. I forgot what it is. It, it, it's a it's got a back lock mechanism. That's all you really need to know. You can see it. Don't let me have it in the comments just because I can't remember the name. Um, real nice, satisfying click when you open it. Did you hear that? Hold on. That is amazing. I love that click. Every time I go to open this knife, and I tend to actually open it. I didn't do it that time because I didn't want to hit my camera, but there we go. That's how I tend to open mine. Um, kind of a kind of a odd grind for a Spyderco. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I've just Spydercos tend to have the grind kind of all the way through the blade, even even through the like you know past the hole, and I kind of like that. Um, I don't really. I don't really own any knives like that, but I've handled knives like that, and I I, I prefer it. Um, or I don't I don't necessarily prefer it, but I like it. Um, it's nice. Solid solid knife. Uh, nice thumb jumping as well. Forgot to mention that. Solid solid knife. Definitely recommend if you've got the money for it. So probably if you pick it up in store. I've noticed that in store prices are actually a little bit better than um, online. Probably because of they factor shipping and handling into the price of online. Um, plus, if you uh, I, I watched a video, a uh, Luger Manga video, uh, a while ago, uh, explain um, why he prefers to pick up knives in store, and I'll and I'll link to that um, video in the description because it's you know I you know I agree with him, um, but I still order knives online because I'm lazy and I don't want to go into a store, and I live uh, I live in a part of my state that apparently doesn't have any high-end knife shops anywhere uh, for the like for like a 30 mile radius uh, ridiculous right and uh, I'm a knife guy trapped here um, but at least the knife laws are pretty good and I'll probably talk about that soon too um, anyway hope you enjoyed this again can't sing this knife's praises enough pick one up seriously pick one up please uh, not a super popular knife in the knife community Endura, you know, it's an Endura 4, um, but still good nonetheless. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.